Today, we're going to take a look at the World Cup pack from New Balance featuring the brand new Tequila and the Furin 4.0. And before you ask anything, yes, they do appear to be a lot better than the previous boosts, the Furin 3 and the Vizarro 2.0, which is good because frankly, they weren't all that awesome. Thankfully, these actually seem to be pretty awesome. Now, the new World Cup pack is called Etruska and is inspired by Russia. So which better venue than to come to the heart of Mother Russia itself, Moscow? Before we joined the launch event though, I had the chance to sit down with the boots at home to take a deep dive in the tech. Now let's start off by looking at the big deal of the Tequila 1.0 that basically takes over from the now deceased Vizarro 2.0s. Now the Tequila is still made for the controlling midfielder that can really change the game with his instinct and his genius. And thus they've gone in to make it a really comfortable experience, but also to give him more control. And looking at the comfort here, they've actually made this really premium synthetic upper that you can see straight out of the box is very, very soft, subtle and pliable to make it mold to the shape of your foot just like that. And to help you out with that, they've also used a really soft foam in a liner that's also rather thin, I would say, and it feels a little bit like a memory foam, which means it goes in to immediately take to the shape of your foot to give you a pretty personal fit. At least that's what New Balance are looking for. Now, the other area is the control where they went in and made this kinetic stitch or K stitch as they also call it. It's a synthetic yarn and basically they've gone in and analyzed where the players put pressure on the boots. Then they've analyzed these pressure points and used this synthetic stitch to, uh, to go in and stabilize the boot wherever they had these pressure points, basically to make it stable where they need it and still keep the upper soft. And then of course, there's also the added benefit of the extra texture and the slightly matte grippy sensation you get from these here kinetic stitches. But I would probably bet you guys that the first thing you noticed, it wasn't the upper, it wasn't the kinetic stitch. It was probably the shape of the tongue and this really iconic looking color. But the idea is to basically give you this much talked about seamless transition from boot to foot. And New Balance used a slightly foamy neoprene like material with a bit of padding on to prevent lace bite and also using a few silicone strips to give it a bit better, should we say sticky effect and not moving so much around the ankle of your foot. Now then they also updated the sole plate, giving you conical studs for that smooth maneuverability through the ground and also made this relatively stiff torsion bar under the midfoot to give you a solid base to move from. But we shouldn't forget the Furin 4.0 that has been re-engineered to focus on the pure attacker, cleaning up the striking surface and making the silhouette of the boot a lot faster. And they've achieved that by engineering the upper with their so-called phantom fit technology. It's basically a mesh making up the pure skeleton of the upper. Then it's been covered by a thin synthetic to give you a really lightweight and very soft upper package. And then the whole thing has been coated with their Hydra Skin silicone coating, giving the upper a bit more strength and also this slightly matte, grippy and textured sensation on the ball, where you get more or less a barefoot-like sensation. And also, New Balance, they really re-engineered the whole last, so you can see that the toe box of the boot is now very pointy and it's very low. Now, the other thing New Balance wanted was to clean up the striking surface, which they did by having a more shallow and shorter lacing system. And while I do understand the thought behind it, I am also a little bit skeptical because of the lockdown. With such a short lacing system, I can't imagine the lockdown being the best in the world. And for such a speed machine, that is probably exactly what you want. A whole lot of lockdown to make it more responsive. Because talking about responsiveness, we also have the sole plate here. It's made with a TPU base, and then it's been infused with nylon, making it very, very, very stiff and thus extremely responsive. Basically reacting to your every little move and acceleration. And if the lockdown isn't as good, as you could hope for, well, then the idea behind the responsiveness kind of goes out the window. But we're gonna have to see how it works when I actually try it out. At least it's a big, big improvement and a lot more streamlined sensation that looks fast compared to the last few on. 
But while I could talk about tech for hours, and you guys probably know that, let's put that away for a bit because the real reason we came to Moscow was to attend the launch event of the new Etruska pack with the new Tequila and the Furin 4.0. And as you can see, the party is already going on strong. So I'm gonna go inside, see what happens, and then I've been told I can speak to the one of the main guys behind the new boots, he's called Rob. So I'm gonna try and pick his brains on why they made the new boots as they did. Join me. So Rob, uh, the new Tequila is out. It, it has, a, especially compared to the Vizarro 2s, uh, a really, really nice upper, really supple, um, yeah. but it also has this uh, kinetic uh, stitching. Yeah. Um, can you talk me through the process of basically coming to a point where you thought stitching, it's always been around in football boots, we can use this in an innovative way? Yeah. Well, to be honest, it, it, it kind of starts with, with two things. In the first instance, the players are demanding that the first time they put the foot into the boot, that's it. Go and play, no wear in time whatsoever. Uh, the next part of it is to go, people really appreciate having that really expanse over the upper, and they kind of feel the ball as well. So you've got to compromise there, you, usually speaking, that you can't make it thin enough. So what we're able to do correspond to that, we can use the really beautiful microfiber, but we combine it with this K-stitch technology. So we can localize support through the kinetic stitch to be able to galvanize and be able to get that strength where we need it and without having to do the whole upper. That's pretty good. Now, let's talk about the color uh, because it has a, should we say, pretty unique silhouette. Uh, what was the thought behind going so bold compared to what you've done in the past? We, we listen to the consumer in that respect. And when they're talking about that fit and feel and that comfort, a lot of the comfort happens around the collar. You know, people get that sense, that immediate sense of that comfort. So we used a different sort of synthetic with a foam package to be able to create that. And we looked at different versions, but this indexed and registered really highly that we had the right amount of support and structure, but also just that wearability and comfort that people demand. Um, and seeing how, you know, knit is spreading out all over the game um, and high cut boots are, are also getting there, has it been a conscious decision not to go with knit and do your own thing, or why did you decide not to do it? It's a conscious decision to be led by insights. So rather than our agenda of what we want people to wear, it's, it's making sure that at a very early stage, we're passing concepts through to the consumers. We're talking about elite athletes and amateurs as well to see what they respond really well to. So if that takes in a direction of a knit or a microfiber or a low cut or mid cut, we kind of respond to that based on that insight. And then you get a really sort of puristic solutions that you build against that then. So you don't just want to do knit for the sake of doing knit? No, and I think that, that, that can take you down a, a pretty dark route. So you've got to do it based on what you know people are intrinsically responding well to. So there you go, my friends, the brand new Etrusca pack from New Balance, featuring the Tequila and the Furin 4.0. And I just got to say, the colorway is the absolute bomb. White upper, red chrome sole plate, damn, I think it looks strong. But what about you guys? You should let me know, as always, in the comment section right down below. Now, if you do fancy a pair of either the Tequilas or the Furon for yourself, you can actually already go and pick up a pair by clicking the link in the corner of your screen. Now, if you want to watch more Tech Talks, click the playlist right down here, and then don't forget to do yourself that favor, subscribe to our channel with the notifications on, of course, by clicking the green bubble somewhere over my head. And with that said, guys, we're signing off. Cheerio.